Hertfordshire County Council, as I just said, it was for light all its work. Uh, it came into preservation in the 1950s. Uh, uh, in the ownership of Jesse Vaughan in Gloucestershire, it moved to a gentleman called Jack Hardy. This one was uh, purchased from a sale as a kit of parts uh, and has particularly been put back together. It's believed to be one of the first Foster Wellington type tractors to be built. 
Following on the uh, Ted Sansom. Uh, Ted was a, a familiar figure at steam engine rallies, uh, sadly no longer with us. But anyway, Stuart was a gentleman that helped him for many years. And uh, Ted also was worth passing Stuart the owner of this particular engine. Following on an example of a, a seven nominal horsepower Alchin traction engine, Alchins built their engines in Northampton. This is a 1912 example, it went new to a Mr. Hobden in Sussex. Uh, preserved, first preserved in Oxfordshire, and it's now with Alan E. from Creek here in Northampton. example of an S4 as late as 
Jeff would call Jack Holland if we were sure in an Albertin lead. So just a short time later, it passed to uh, Ben and Elsa Samson from Hinkley. Uh, Stuart was one of those people that helped Ted and Elsa for many, many years. And when they they both passed away again. with a single cylinder blowing engine now. Well, she is stuck here. Right, right, right. You know all about it. So, that blue fire engine that's being pulled back into the arena now is fighting against it. So what we're going to do now, we're going to change the engines over and you'll hear a totally different sound from the beat of the uh, BB to the single cylinder. Yeah, John Fowler's were the biggest uh, producer of uh, plowing engines in the country. As I said when we did the parade, it's uh, tender steering. You turn the wheel left and you go right, you turn the wheel right and you go left. So I don't think you want two or three beers while you were doing that job. Anyway, what we're going to do now, we're going to change the engine over. We've got a BB type plowing engines now. Done by Alma Flair from Curtin and Lindsay. And it's being driven as always by Sparky. Uh, Sparky Gordon Hutton, uh, a familiar figure around the steam rallies for very many, many years now. I've known him a long time myself. Sparky's getting back to his machine. The engine that's doing the pulling this time was a went new to wards of Carrington in Lincolnshire. It actually worked until 1947 when it was laid up. It's what they call a compound, it's using the single, the, the steam twice, so you've got a high pressure, low pressure cylinder. It was sort of like a, well I don't know, it's an advancement in the use of steam you'd probably get more coal and more water out of out of your usage of the engine. It's a bit like when you tweak a car engine, you know. <laughs> so it was an advancement in the world of steam and that's to it. So here we go again. All the big pull. Oh Yeah, you see, it's not quite so noisy as a signal, it's a signal, is it? And it's an absolute ease with, well, which, with, which both the engines do it, actually.